Hi guys, I'm going to be showing you all the things you need to know about Figma component in 2025. Now to do that, I'm just going to duplicate the screen. I'm going to bring this one out. So this is the one we're going to be looking at and this is the one we're going to be recreating. So I'm going to be showing you how you can create properties, variants, variations in Figma components. So this is just right search and please while creating a component make sure to name it properly the next thing we're going to do now is to make this a component so i'm just going to create and make this a component and also add a variant of that because previously figma doesn't allow you to change or rename this property one but now you can actually rename it i'm just going to call it train search now we're going to rename this and also rename this. So we're going to use this as primary. So please always try and the primary search. And for this, we're going to rename it to secondary search. Using the old version of Figma because I kind of like the layout, but I'm going to switch to the new Figma UI. So to do that, I'm just going to click here and say use new UI in better. It's still in better position. So now we're going to select this. This is already primary, secondary. So if you go here, you'll see it's secondary, and this is primary. Next thing we are going to do, go back to the old ui so this is the previous ui now there's something i'm going to do to make things easy because if you want to recreate this in 2025 it's going to be different method so to do that i'm just going to hold my option button if you're using mac or hold your alternate button if you're using windows and bring this out so once this is out you can actually rename this change some things make some tweaks without affecting this one so we can actually change this to london and we can just change this to Birmingham. and you see that the changes we made here did not affect here that is one of the new things that figma did on the component so the next thing we're going to do is to set this we're going to create a property let's open this and create a property of this so i'm going to say show flexi so i'm going to set it to true now create property so we've created a property of this if we go to this one we will now see what happens so if you select this it's showing you show flexi so now you have the option to toggle this off now if you toggle it off it will just go off so you don't need to delete it you just need to toggle it off because if you need it you can toggle it on so that's another improvement that was made so another thing we are going to do here is if you want to hide this entire section we can come here and create property we just say show bottom menu so we set it at true and just create property now when we select this you will see two toggle buttons so now this one if we toggle it off it will go off like this what we have is this now remember that this is also showing so you need to sort this out now to sort it out take this and move it into inside this frame or you just create a property of it but creating a property for this is not really necessary so what we're going to do is just copy it delete and just select this frame because we've already created a property of it and paste it inside there so because it's on absolute we're going to bring it down and set it right so you see now it's no longer showing it's inside this frame so if we go here and toggle this on it will start showing now these are some of the things that fig that figma components comes with and if you want to also create a property for this we can go and say create a property and we'll say show direction then set it to true so now if you set it to false this will automatically disappear i'm going to create another thing and set it to false so now if you select this you see three toggle buttons and we just click this this disappears now if we go back and hit ctrl z now let's do this and set it to false i'm going to go back here and create property and say show title sorry i actually did true so now if you select this you should show title now another thing we are going to set to false is if we want to set this to 
select this and go here and say show input set to false if you set this to false this will automatically go off here it will be very difficult to iterate later on in the future so if i create create property you see it has disappeared you might actually struggle to know that okay this has a property this is the way this component was actually created it's definitely going to be confusing the best way is to always set it to true so we can come here and set it to true right but this is the main component this is just the variant what we're going to do is to go back and press ctrl z and set this what i'm just trying to do now is i'm going to reduce this to the barest minimum of a single input so now we've created a property if we take this off take this off and we have just this so we can actually use this to do anything that we want to do right we can actually use this to create this kind of stuff like this that is what you can actually use it to create so instead of creating a different component for this section you can use this to recreate that because this have an icon and this also have an icon this is the background and this is just the border so now if you want to do that because this one doesn't have arrow you can actually add an arrow here and set it to false i would advise don't add too many properties on a component just maybe probably add a few component for five properties of a component and that's fine but if you start creating tons of properties it's going to make things very very hard for you to understand you need to also re leave a proper note indicating how some of these components is so another thing figma did here is if you come here you will see this and you can add a note to this component so whatever you've done here i can just say and this component has four different properties then i'll go ahead and list all the whole properties if i have set something to false i would definitely list it here so once i'm done i will just hit enter so now if you select this you want to see the notes you will see it here this component has four different so these are some of the little updates that figma actually see you guys next time bye for now